yleensä aina nää <laughs> pääkuestit lähtee liikkeelle tästä ensimmäisenä A uuden alueen Vaishrineilta. Firestone Obsidian Mask. Naamari saatiin heti. No niin, eli tää näyttäisi luovan bretonialainen paikka. Ja Fire Songin kaverit on täällä käynyt vähän terhiltämässä. Sittenhän tää näyttää. Mornard needs adventurers. Who's got the sand for the job? Um. That's a language we have. Texted books at Peter's all up there. Ah, there are new and rare chat chat kids. Why it's you? You, Jobina. I should have known you'd turn up on Galen. Good timing. We have plenty of trouble to go around today. I took a post as mage for hire to Count Mornard, but he needs all the help he can get, and he pays well for it. The usual, well, more than that. Galen's beset by sea elf pirates. Marmerit. These aren't the usual isolated raids. House Mornard's defending the Isle as best they can, but their knights are stretched thin, and the druids are too distracted to lend a hand. He paid it to her. Some quarrel among the circles. Never seen the druids so at odds before. But if you're willing to help, go talk to the Count's son, Sir Stefan. He's just outside Vastir, leading the effort to drive off the sea elves. What do you say, sailor? Sir Stefan is outside Vastir with Lord Bakaro, the leader of the Society of the Steadfast. Which reminds me, I've got the healing herbs he asked for. Give these to Lord Bakaro, mate. Now I'm off. Got sea elf raiders near Windrack Fort to deal with. After our last adventure together. I wanted to do more to help Druid Laurel with her exploration of Druid history. I came back here to dust off some old books, ask a few questions. After all, Galen's like a second home to me. Remember how I mentioned that shipwreck years ago? When the Stone Lord Druids rescued me and took me in? Taught me to see the world in a new way? That was here on Galen. I set aside my cutlass for magic, but lately, I've needed both blade and staff. Tänä kai jännättää Redcardi, mutta tämä on magi kuitenkin, kun yleensä ne ei tykkää. Mutta ilmeisesti se Redcardien aversio magiaan on tullut vasta tän toisen ajan jälkeen. Count Mornard sent word to the Mages Guild that he wanted to hire a battle mage. I was already here, so the guild sent me. Not the first time I've sold my sword. Or my staff. I advise the count and get my hands dirty when I need to. Siis alikirissa ei vielä käyty sisällissota tässä vaiheessa. The druids of the Sisters Archipelago are divided into three circles: the Stone Lore, the Elder Tide, and the Fire Song. Usually they get along, or at least leave each other in peace. Lately, not so much. The Elder Tide resent the Breton noble houses. All outsiders, really. They believe islands belong to the Druids, and some of them act on that belief. But we've got something of a truce with them on Galen. Turns out, sea elves are everyone's problem. Kyllä, ja vasen kättiset haltijat. I know, mate. I was there. The Fire Songs say they don't know anything about Archdruid Michiel's travels and didn't approve his actions. Uh huh. I don't believe them. Neither do the Stone Lore or the Elder Tide. Aye, 
They've been spending time at Glimmertarn, a stone lore village to the north. Laurel has also been scouting for sea elf incursions. Free rarely leaves her side. You wouldn't believe how Free has grown. Matured? Not sure how to describe it. Druid Laurel thinks it's got something to do with an old prophecy. The Elder Tide blamed the Sea Elves, and the Fire Song refused to explain themselves to anyone. In that then, so, then. your guess is as good as anyone's, mate. Fire Song in vaikuttimet on jatkuvasti tosi kysymysmerkki. Villikorki. Sea Elves? Haven't spent much time in these waters, eh? The technical term is Mawamer, but nobody actually calls them that. They're bloodthirsty raiders from the great isle of Pyandania. We usually see a ship or two, but this bunch have a fleet. A huge one. Call themselves the Dread Sails. They're a vicious band of pirates that have been causing trouble in the archipelago for some time. But no one realized how large their fleet was. Now they seem more intent on conquest than pillaging. Ah, nyt tää muistaa edestä seikkailusta. Aye. They're part of the same fleet, though they seem to be made up of many pirate bands, each with a ship or two of their own. It takes a strong leader to hold a fleet like the Dreadsails together, and make them work toward a common purpose. That would be Sea Lord Nalos. He recruits Sea Elf captains and offers them a place in the Dreadsails fleet. If I didn't know better, I'd say he was trying to create his own Sea Elf kingdom far from Pyandonia. Could explain our current problems. Hmm, totta. Katsotaas, täällä on... Firesong on varmasti tuolla. Stone... Stone Lord on tuolla noin. Täällä on ehkä jotain. Se on laivoja. Mastyr on tää iso kaupunki. These sea elf pirates become more brazen every day. When is House Mornard going to do something? You know, House Dufort never has these problems on high island. Uh -huh. That's not entirely true. There are those incidents with the Ascendant Order. Totta. Fortune favor you, my friend. Farewell, my good friend. Katsotaas. Tää oli ilmanen. Gua Guarin poikane. Perhaps they will get bored of Five claw! In such a place. Joan and Jode must have sent you. Raz needs a small favor. Das. If you can spare a moment. Mm. It concerns the two large thugs over there. They try so hard to look intimidating. Almost adorable, yes? They are tailing Raz. Raz already has tail. Far sleeker than they and less clumsy to boot. But still. This one cannot complete his mission without first being rid of these annoying fleas. A mission most intriguing, yes? The pirate captain Redblade seeks to raise an armada. Only Raz's sharp wits and sharper claws can stop this. So this one asks a favor. Distract the thugs so Raz might slip out the side door. What do you say? Distract the thugs. And Raz will slip away. Then meet this one outside near the tavern. Raz is reminded of that time in Velen Harbor. Uh -huh. A bar, a pair of nasty thugs, and nowhere to go but out a window. <laughs> Raz was picking glass out of his fur for days. Ah, Elkiva. Shh, too many ears listen here, friend. Raz arrived in advance. As Queen Irene Arana Aldmeri made ready to travel to High Isle. Then, Raz caught a whiff of something bad. And this one was given leave to follow his nose. The Queen is well, thanks to you. 
This one heard all the details. The Ascendant Order, the talks, a daring escape from a moldering old fort. Raz will not soon let her forget what happened when he was not at her side. Oh, not yet begun from what this one has heard. Knowing the players, this is a card game that will take many hands to play out. Between you and Raz, great things may come of these talks, but we must all be patient and try not to get our hopes up. Niin, kolme lipun sotaa tuskin saa ihan helposti pysähtymään. A scent he has not detected in a long, long time. From one of his earliest missions as an eye of the queen. We can talk more of this stench when not so many listen in, yes? As <laughs> sleek and fragrant as ever, Five Claw. Raz must say, he could get used to the salt air and delicious food of the archipelago. Eh, the drinks taste like bilge water, though. Such a pity. Tule piti puhua, mutta... I say, as far as seedy establishments go, this one is at the very top. The absolute nadir. My toxic potables, deplorable clientele, sagging architecture. <laughs> it has healthy. nearly everything I'm seeking. Very nearly. A tavern brawl, of course. A fracas, a melee, a clash between two wretched souls sodden with drink. When I first heard of this establishment, I was expecting violence enough to make a Kvatch Arena fighter blush. <laughs> well, I couldn't possibly. I mean, I am a proud son of Somerset, trained in the fencing arts by a retired Welkenar. I might do mortal harm to any mere bar fighter. Truly? Hmm. I suppose I have come all this way. It would be silly to leave without getting the full experience. Very well. Just point me to these friends of yours and I shall issue a challenge forthwith. I say, you fobbing rascals, bilge breath jack and apes, I've five coins that say you are too soft to prove your mettle. Let us engage in fisticuffs! Five coin? Sounds good. Ha! Ras lähtee. Käsit like like to sneak. <laughs> Toi kyllä kestänyt hirveän kama. Tresym tarpeisi karkuu. A toast to drinking. What's a flag in a veil without a bit of me? <laughs> Take a seat anywhere you like. Kitchen's open and everything on the menu is available. Except for sprint fish. We just ran out. Kai me autetaan Rasum Daria välittömästi. Such an effective distraction. Raz could not have done it better himself. What do you say we continue this collaboration? This one promised you gold. And he would like to make good on his promise. Did this one give you the impression he could? Continue to help the Queen's eye, and you will be paid handsomely. As handsome as Raz. Uh. Were you not paying attention? To stop a pirate. Redblade is gathering crew and ships to build an armada. They would threaten every port from Alinor to Balmora. Their plan hinges on a secret. A trove thought lost and forgotten. Just so, the Achillarius bequest. A ludicrous fortune sent by ship to Gaelic during the final years of Emperor Varen's reign. Uh -huh. It was thought lost at sea. 
But somehow Red Blade has learned its true location. As far as Raz can tell, no. We must find the bequest first. Luckily, this one has a place to start. Another eye, years ago, sought to recover the bequest. And we have her notes. What do you say? Help Raz claim this prize and save the day? This one knew you would agree. 90% of the time, Raz's instincts never fail. <laughs> you remember the others dogs you shook from Raz's tail? We must find them. The tail will become the tailed. Poetic, yes? First things first, Five Claw. We must learn what our enemies already know. That means tailing those two back to their boss. Trust Raz. This is his bread and butter. Or cake and jam, <laughs> which Raz likes better. Nipadest. Kättä niitä aseena tarvittais. Raz begins to see the pieces fall into place, but let's confirm his suspicion. We lost the cat. All right. Time to tell the boss we lost the cat. Well, now we know who we are dealing with. That is both good news and bad news. Check out Druidy. Raz knows who the thugs work for. The tailed tail used a member's only entrance to the local outlaw's uh. refuge. Just inside the refuge is a gambling parlor owned by a local crime boss called Eve Grandvatch. Grandvatch. If Grandvatch is backing Redblade, the sharp claws of knowledge will undo them. This one has dealt with Grandvatch before. Raz will have to wear a disguise, but that is a small price to pay. Raz mentioned another eye who fell tracking the bequest, a skilled agent named Ronia. Raz always believed Granvatch was behind her death, but could not prove it. Her ciphered notes were never recovered. Granvatch must have finally cracked them. That is Raz's best guess. The only way we can be sure is to get in there and find out. Go. Enter the outlaw's refuge and make your way to the gambling parlor. This one will need you inside once he has donned the perfect disguise. Raz will see you inside. Keep a keen eye open. With this one's disguise, you will have a hard time recognizing Raz. When we were both younger, and Eve had yet to set up his little empire, the tale features a sea serpent, an Argonian opera singer, and a relic called Ariel's Lute. Ask Roz about it sometime. It's a good one. Uh -huh. Ronia was one of the very first eyes of the queen. Roz only knew her for a few moons. She was a legend, an example for us all. Many of her missions are still kept secret to this day. Keep your voice down, my friend. <laughs> And take a moment to appreciate this one's subtle disguise. Uh -huh. Now let's focus. Raz heard the waitstaff say that Grand Vatch's office is through the high stakes suite. That could pose a problem. The high roller suite, they call it the patrician suite, is for game winners only. This is where you come in. Raz has an idea. Oh no. One of the games they play is Tales of Tribute. Are you familiar with this card game? Excellent. Raz cannot risk being recognized, so you must play in his place. Here, take these chips. Do not ask where he got them. After you win, head up to the patrician suite, and do not worry. Raz will be close behind. You will play well, Five Claw. Raz is sure of it. This one will stand by, looking casual. 
He's very good. Apologies, Five Claw. This one is far better at dice than card games. Ha! <laughs> Salutations, newcomer. We're playing Tales of Tribute at this table. I see you have a stake. Are you interested in a game? As the guest wishes, of course. Nyt kun hän taas menikään. Oh, it is with some sorrow that I must inform you this table. Hey, honestly, Raz. I saw it all, but don't worry. Even Raz loses a game sometimes. In a way, this is more fun. It means we will have to do things the old-fashioned way. A break-in. To go where we are not wanted. Brings Raz back to his days as a kitten. <laughs> he was endlessly causing trouble for his mother. <laughs> ah, simpler times. Exactly. Plan A did not work, which is fine. Plan B is just as <laughs> ah, good. Raz that will stay here in the park. <laughs> he will head back out into the city. After a moment, Raz will cause a distraction. The parlor is below ground, yes. But the patrician suite is above the parlor. The suite should have a view of Vastir. While Raz keeps the thugs focused down here, find a way inside. Perhaps a ramp or ladder. Get creative. Uh -huh. Mietinkin, että mitä varten tää on tässä nyt. Oliks iso pelejä on nyt mukana? Se hermostus tästä kuitenkin. Well done, Five Claw. Let's hunker down. And see what we can see. Where are you, you damnable pirate? We need to talk. Are we going to discuss how your thugs lost track of the cat? I may need to cut you out, Grandfatch. In more ways than one. Let's get in there. What? 
Ronia. Ah, damned cat. Start to me. This one will grab some documents. Make tracks, Five Claw. I have no idea who you are, but you'll. Things have taken a turn, Five Claw. Of all the places this search could have led us, Raz did not think it would be to a dead eye of the Queen. Not to Ronia. It seems that way. Oh, neat, but the others do. This one supposes he should not be surprised. A spy faking their own death happens more often than you may think. But why? What of the treasure? This red blade persona? Raz smells a rotten tail lurking beneath his whiskers. No, not a bit. Ronia, Red Blade, whatever she calls herself now. Her goal is still the same. To find the bequest, form a pirate fleet, and plunder the ports of Tamriel. We have to stop her from finding the treasure. Ah, but during our daring escape, Raz helped himself to a few letters. It seems our friend was a prodigious scrivener. The letters may have the answers we seek. Oh. Yeah. Raz thinks Eve regrets going into business with Red Blade. Seems the crime boss has connections all around the region. Hold your pause. Based on this, Red Blade is at a dig site on the coast. Somewhere near Fawn's Thicket. Back into the fray then. Raz will meet you at Fawn's Thicket, Five Claw. Siinä on sivutehtävä. I'm turning into a tree. A tree, Octon! I got turned into a floaty orb thing. You know, it'd be a lot easier to translate this tablet if I had some quiet. See this? I'm covered in bark. I'm turning into a tree. Druid Fennis is doing his best to determine the nature of the curse, but we're going to need more help. I'd give everything we ever stole to fix this. My cousin, Octon, over there, that's how this happened. We went to procure equipment from Fawn's Thicket. Octon picked up a stone tablet, but he's as graceful as a drunk sow when he's figuring out our profits. He dropped it and poof! Look at him! We have to break the curse. Druid Fennis is trying to figure out what that entails, but he can't do it alone. I'm covered in bark, and Octon's got no body. Uh -huh. I could really use some help. Don't make me beg. Please. You're willing to help? That's perfect. I'm not really sure about Druid Fennis, and Octon usually handles the logistics. I was worried I was going to have to rely on myself, and that never turns out well. Talk to the Druid. See if he has any ideas. Octon's always been the thinker. I'm the impulsive one. So when the tablet broke and Octon disappeared into a ball of energy, I thought he got vaporized. I went to pick up the broken pieces of stone before I even realized what I was doing. I started to turn into a tree and I panicked. I suppose Octon took the brunt of the curse since he transformed immediately. I'm changing slowly. Maybe that means the tablet blames me more. I don't know. Maybe because I didn't stop Octon from breaking it or that we procured it without asking permission i don't know how any druid magic works that's why we asked fennis to help he's a druid he knows about this stuff he grumbled something about his responsibilities as a stone lord druid if you ask me i think he's hoping to convince us to give back all the equipment we took um, procured <laughs> he it. probably knows the druid it belongs to but she left it to rot no idea 
seems fairly irresponsible to me. Anyone could just pick it up, break it, and get cursed. Maybe she wanted to keep people like Ogden and me from stealing her research? Druid Fennis said he might be able to help, so we're letting him. Fawn's thicket. Some druid went there to study the fawns and left all her things behind. It's a little old and outdated, but our fence said we could get a good price for whatever we brought him. Not stealing. Procuring. Uh -huh. That old place is abandoned. The druids are content to just let nature claim it. But there's someone on this island who will pay a lot of gold for some dusty journals and stuff. We couldn't pass up the opportunity. This adventurer agreed to help us. Does that help solve our problem? An adventurer, eh? That explains the boots. You should Adventure. talk to Druid Finnis. He's the expert here. I think? Expert in... Translations. He's a Breton. Or at least I was. Now I look for my legs and all I see are wisps of blue essence. I think I'm roundish. An orb? And I feel small. Finnis, the druid over there, laughed when he saw me. I must look ridiculous. Am I a sprite? A wisp? I suppose it could be worse. I could be a net. All those limbs? No, thank you. It was an accident. No idea what went wrong. One moment I could see, the next, no eyes at all. Don't ask. It's good of you to offer to help, outsider. Fire and foliage, that's the key to reversing the curse. If we repair what's broken, then the curse will be lifted. At least, that's what I can make out from the text carved in heat to prepare the sap, and sap to bind the stone. The inscription mentions those two ingredients at length. I'll send Jocelyn to an area outside of Embervine. The lava pools there create fire shards, rocks that retain extreme heat. Meet Jocelyn near Embervine. I'll give her a spell to retrieve a fire shard, but she shouldn't touch them herself. Even with the spell, <laughs> she's too flammable in her current state. After that, meet Octon near the sacred tree to the north to get the sap. I need to continue to work on the translation. There's something about this text. A word I can't translate. From the way the sentence lines up, it's nothing good. This curse is already potent enough. I'm worried about what else it might do. I hoped that this would be simple, but no. The writing is complex and made all the harder to translate because of the broken stone. Find Jocelyn by the lava pools to the east, near Embervine. Then go north to meet Octin by the sacred tree. It's in an obscure druidic script. Luckily, I've made a study of such writing. This one, however, is different. I have no idea what it was doing with Druid Medina's things. It would be a lot easier if they hadn't cracked the tablet, I assure you. Siltä. Jos on vähän onto, tästä pitää mennä läpi. Jossain Vovissa on ehkä ollut tällaisia näin. Fire shard. My ideas rarely work out for the best, but I can tell that getting you involved was one of my better ones. That's a fire shard out there, just what Druid Venice wants. But you'll need to get it, unless you want me to go up like kindling. With the freezing spell the Druid gave me, be careful, there's just the one. Look, I'm not getting close to the lava, not like this. So you take the spell, it will cool down the fire shard without extinguishing it. Make it safe to carry, for a while. I'm not a druid. How should I know how long the stupid spell will last? Just be quick and everything should be fine. I'll wait right here. Happy Kasuta. I saw 
how you cast that spell. You're a natural. How's the fire shard? Not too hot, I hope? Now, you're not screaming or bursting into flames or anything. The druid spell worked, just like he promised it would. Next, I head back to the druid and Fawn's thicket while you go north and meet Octon. He can point out the sacred tree where you need to gather the sap from. The druid told him, or maybe he could sense it with his new glowing ball of light abilities. I don't know. All I know <laughs> is you should hurry to the north and find him. He shouldn't be left alone for too long. You may not believe it, but he's the brains behind all our exploits. Something happened to him, though. More than becoming a sprite. It's like he can't think straight for more than a few moments. Just what I said. Whatever happened to his mind when the curse started, it's getting worse. Right now, I'm worried he couldn't remember his own name if his life depended on it. I miss my cousin. Yeah. Druid said to follow the stream, or was it the trees? Well, I followed something and I spotted you, so this must be the right spot, I think. I hope. Who are you? Sure. I mean, I think so. The trees all look the same, so the sap must be the same too, right? Try that one over there. With those fancy hands of yours, it should be easy to acquire. At least if the forest raids don't try to kill you. Yeah, but the others too. Forest raids? Where? No, I'm not floating a lichen's width farther. You can fight those horrible forest spirits on your own. You've still got all your limbs after all. The sap tree is just over there in that cave. Don't get squashed like a bug. Ah, okay. <laughs> Another find for your pack. Hi, good to see you again. How do I do that, I wonder? See you, I mean. Oh, wait, sap. You were looking for sap. Did you find any? What makes sap sacred, I wonder? Druids are so funny. Oh no, Jocelyn. I just remembered, she's turning into a tree. We need to get back to the tree. And maybe me! Druid Venice? He's not here. He's back at Fawn's Thicket. But how come the tree didn't curse you? If I took some sap, it would have blasted me six ways to Sundust. Sundust? Is it Sundust already? I thought it was still mid here. Confused? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, you mean the forgetting and the rambling and the weird dreams. I have become a glowing ball of light, you know. This could be perfectly natural for someone in my condition. I deserve it. It's my fault after all. I dropped the tablet, slipped right through the fingers I no longer have. I broke it. And if Jocelyn hadn't tried to help me, I'd be the only one cursed. But maybe Druid Finnis will save us. Druid Finnis, and you. Let's head back to Fawn's Thicket. Tässä on jonkinlainen uuri paikka. Näin mä. You wanna do what? No, think it through. Flammable tree bark over here. But this will go faster if we break up the fire shard. More shards mean more heat and... Ah, the adventurer returns. Bring me the fire shard and the sap, please. You gathered the fire shard and the sap from a sacred tree. Very good. Now we have what we need to perform the ritual. We just need to find the right spot to perform the ritual. And I'll need your assistance. These two are in no shape to help. Not far. I'll show you. We need to go to the spot where they found the tablet. 
Once we return it, we can set about restoring it. The ritual won't be easy. Nothing about curses ever is. Just one more detail, and we can get on with this. The items for the ritual. Give them to me. Then I need you to go on ahead and clear a safe path to the spot I marked on your map. I'll follow with Jocelyn and Octon when the way is clear, and prepare the site for the ritual. Octon, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have snapped at you. It's just... I'm scared. Don't worry, Jocelyn. I literally forgot all about it until you just mentioned it. <laughs> my hair. I know you're hungry, but my robes aren't for eating. Oh, maybe they can help us. There we go. Shaggy up what? have time to help some well fawns aren't exactly defenseless creatures but they are in danger just because they're intelligent creatures doesn't mean that they don't need help the herd is suffering because a wolf pack moved in the great beasts are eating every creature in sight it's only a matter of time before they eat the fawns too no definitely not I want someone to take these fast-growing seeds and plant them throughout Fawn's thicket. Fawns love the taste of the berries, but wolves can't stand them. I can offer a reward if you're in... I'll mark the places in Fawn's thicket where you should plant the seeds. Once the fawns start eating, the wolves won't go near them. They really can't stand the smell. We'll be planting seeds as well, but we'll stop by to see how you're doing. The fawn herd has lived in this location since before druids settled on Galen. Even druid Medena chose this thicket to study them. Besides, I adore them. <laughs> They're smart and playful, like little Moair here. Oh, watch out, he might try to eat your pack. The wolf pack's usual prey was decimated by a blight last season, huh. so they came here to hunt. Their starting was smaller prey, but it's only natural for them to hunt the okay, fawns up. next. I want to keep that from happening. Siis sama, no, siis ei ole siis sama kuin ne Elder Scrolls kolmassa Morrowindissa. Siis siinä oli, se plaitti oli vähän eri, erilainen, mutta siis onko tarkoittaako tämä iho sairautta? Hey, I'm a druid. Knowing this kind of nature stuff is sort of part of the job description. Those seeds grow exceedingly fast and produce berries that Mohair loves. Wolves, on the other hand, hate the way they smell. Just a whiff makes them run. Haven't you heard? You are what you eat. After a few meals, the fawns will smell like the berries. <laughs> I had these seeds infused with magic. They'll sprout when you plant them. The fawns will have plenty to eat and the wolves will leave them be. You haven't heard of her. She inspired me to become a druid. She's an elder now, but in her youth, she came here to study the fawns. She learned so much about them, how they interact and how clever. The truth is, until she came here, no one knew much about fawns. They were mainly seen as cunning pests. She was the first druid to really delve into how the herds worked. I believe her efforts resulted in fewer fawn deaths and deeper understanding. There was an incident with his herd. The guards outside Vastir thought that the local fawns were attacking them. They weren't. Fawn herds are close-knit families. They wouldn't just accept an outsider, especially not one who's small or weak. Still, Mohair helps me convince stubborn outsiders that fawns aren't terrible creatures. He's like an ambassador to Man and Mer. Mm, I'm probably more like a bossy sister. <laughs> we get along, but he still tries to irk me when he's bored. I keep him out of danger, but I can't control him. Especially at this age. He's more rebellious than I was in my... You haven't heard of her? She inspired me to become a druid. She's an... I know what you think. They were the only ones who would talk to me at first. The other circles don't like outsiders. Even now, they struggle to accept that I'm one of them. Still, I've gotten good at convincing the Elder Tide not to attack me. And having my air helps. Oh, cool.
glad you made it, Five Claw. Ross thinks we should split up. The letters mentioned water, so let's head for the far side of the thicket. See you there. Sure. Uh huh. Stop ignoring us, Fennis. We want to help. What are we doing out here again? This is where Octon found and broke the tablet. We'll perform the ritual here. Let me see. Fire shards, sap, and tablet pieces. Everything's in order. Oh, yes. I almost forgot about the warning. Druid decorum requires that I fully disclose the potential <laughs> danger, no matter how unlikely, to any non-Druids taking part in a complex and somewhat lethal ritual. And we could be afflicted with the same curse that has befallen Jocelyn and Octon. The odds of that happening are infinitesimal, but I feel obliged to warn you just the same. Start by setting the fire shard ablaze. Good. Now, heat the sap. Is this supposed to happen? Now the most important step. Apply the heated sap to the broken tablet. Well done, my... Wait. Why haven't they turned back? You performed the ritual perfectly. The curse should have been lifted. Jocelyn and Octon should be back to the tablet. The part I couldn't translate. Now that the tablet is whole, I see it. In fire and foliage born, what is broken, only one to restore. It rhymes better in Odruidic. Don't you see? We can lift the curse, but only for one of them. Uh -huh. I leave that to you. I must keep the power of the ritual flowing until a choice is made. Talk to both of them, then decide. Yeah. Will we restore Jocelyn or Octon to their original What did the druid say? Only one of us can be saved? Why is this happening to us? We were just trying to earn a living. That's... That's so unfair. I don't want to be a tree. Well, if only one of us can have our life back, I want you to choose no, Octon. No need, but the others too. Too smart to let his mind turn to mush or light or whatever. Just don't tell him. I'm scared. If you must, but don't let him sway you. I want Octon to go back to the way he was. No one should have to lose their mind and turn into a ball of light, especially not someone as brilliant as my cousin. Whatever the two of you talk about, choose him. Hi! Good to see you again. Why does Jocelyn look so warm? Oh, wait a moment. I remember the ritual. Something went wrong, didn't it? I knew we wouldn't get out of this that easily. Only one? One what? Oh, oh. that's not fair. I'm pretty sure neither of us wants to stay cursed. Well, if you can only choose one, you have to choose Jocelyn. She doesn't deserve to suffer because I made a mistake. Besides, she's doing so bad. Jocelyn? Is my cousin here too? Did I tell you she hates nature? Abhors it. <laughs> what the trees and flowers make her sneeze. Don't let her become a tree, friend. Please choose her. Tää on näitä mahdottomia tehtäviä taas, mutta mä valitsen tän, kun tää ei ollut se, joka teki sen... sen... Sitä ei tehnyt sitä lauannut sitä kirjoista. I cannot. The ritual has run its course. What did you do? I told you to choose Octon. How could you make him stay like that? He's too smart and funny to spend the rest of his life as a signal flare. Oh, my poor cousin. How will I fix this? Octon was the brains and... No, I'll figure something out. I have to. Here, I said I settle my debts and I meant it. You saved me and I do appreciate that. I'll find a way to do the same for Octon. Somehow. Takas DPS setti. Kritikaalia tulee. What am I going to tell my aunt? And how am I going to keep Octon from drifting away in a strong breeze? I'll have to get Druid Fennis to help. We'll work together and we'll figure something out. I'll fix Octon. Somehow. Not on my own. I'm not a scholar or a mage, but with Druid Fennis to help me, 
We'll find a way to restore my cousin to his rightful form. Look, luck won't be a factor. This is a job for skill. My skill as a procurer of things that aren't mine. And Druid Fennis' skill as a... Well, as a druid. I owe my cousin everything. This is my responsibility now, and I mean to live up to it. Locked in? I'll find a way to restore you. I swear it. This must be it. Let's get inside. Ronia must be here somewhere, and likely she's not alone. Time to put on our serious faces, my friend. service. Sheep. It must be the vessel that carried the Aquilarius bequest years ago. We need a plan, Five Claw. Luckily, Roz came with one prepared. We must get dramatic. We collapse the cavern, bury the ship, and deny the world the Aquilarius bequest. There's enough stone in this cavern to ensure this treasure is never, ever found. What you Eve didn't exactly impress Raz with the quality of his operation. Who knows how many people are aware of this place. And if the Covenant, the Pact, or even the Dominion found out, Galen could become a new front in the Three Banners War. Raz hung back in Vastir to get these. Some alchemical charges. He had them made specially by a Vindusk Ranger for an operation that never happened. Look for the pillars holding up the ceiling. Place one on each, and when we are ready, boom! Raz will place the charges this way. You follow the path and place the others. Good luck. Quest belongs to Captain Redblade. Night never heals. Ei ollut mitään tänne lykkäämpää tässä skenaariossa. Se oli, oli vampaa his. Yksityisyrittäjä on aloittanut oman startupin. Let's get out of here. 
Sendar keep us safe. Your children walk a dangerous path. It's done, Five Claw. Whew. The Aquilarius bequest is buried for good. And you saw to it that Ronia, that Red Blade, won't be sailing the Abyssian ever again. Us could use a break. First, Raz will sleep for a week. Then he will report to the Queen. This one thinks he may just leave Ronia's name out of his report. But you, Five Claw, are someone worth mentioning. Here, as promised, your reward. Moons keep you safe. Stamina healerille sopiva setti. Tarasam das sex second best bow. Aika jännä. Perhaps Raz will meet a nice druid boy while he is here. This one likes plants as much as the next guy. Uh, okay. Ellen really is quite beautiful, yes. Of course, of course. You would think Raz was going to curl up and fall asleep right here at your feet. Huh. Actually, that is not a bad idea. Ah, kitten. Raz could tell you, but then he'd have to kill you. Do not worry. You wouldn't feel a thing. And he would be most respectful with your remains. <laughs> not great, kitten, not great. Raz wishes he could say he was even surprised, but he's not. This war. Raz knows in his heart the Dominion is on the right side of things. But it has gone on so long. And so things like this will continue to happen. Raz hopes so, Five Claw. Most folk believe the treasure was just a story anyway. And if anyone follows hints from Rastir to the caves, well, they'll have to dig out a mountainside for even a handful of coins. In this one's opinion, a job well done. Mohair is really excited. He kept running to each of the berry plants and back to me. I'm pretty sure there are more brambles in his fur than I've ever seen before. <laughs> You made this little fawn very happy. And the herd too, I suspect. Did you hear that fawn's joyful bray? Happy fawns are hungry fawns, and they'll discover the plants soon enough. Once the berries become part of their diet, the wolves will leave them alone. Here. My purse isn't large, but you've helped save this herd. Thank you again for your help. I can't abide preventable deaths. But now, I won't have to imagine fawns like Little Mohair here getting gobbled up by a hungry wolf. As safe as anything that lives in the wild can be. Mohair and I will come check on the herd every now and then to see how they're getting along. Plant a few more berries if necessary. No. The fawns and wolves need some time to settle in. If we stayed and observed, then I'd be more likely to intervene too early. We'll stay in the area, but I won't check on the herd for a while. Mohair will let me know if something goes wrong. He let me know when the herd was frightened of the wolves. I don't know if he caught a scent or if he heard the fawns call from far away. Fawns are miraculous creatures. Did you know they have magic? Huh. I learn something new about them every day. We were thinking about heading toward Bastia. There's always newcomers there to educate about fawns. Besides, it's been a while since we visited the Vine District. And there are some folks who'd love to see how big Mohair's getting. Right, Mohair? Want to say goodbye to the herd before we leave? 